Hey, what's up? It's your man Rico. Rico here paying this. Let me walk across here. I got a few minutes for my client shows up. Uh, yeah, it's your man Rico, the opinionist. I'm here with another opinion. I'm not going to be long on this because my client's about to show up. Do me a favor. Y'all like, share, and subscribe this particular video. Well, all of them on my YouTube channel, my Facebook group. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and please check out the description box on here. It has my wonderful PDF formatted short stories. Only 50 pages. It's entitled... What's that? The greatest pain I ever felt. Conversation with absent biological father who never wanted to be found. It's only ten dollars. Hit your boy in the cash app. Dollar sign Rico the opinionist or dollar sign Rico Rivers. And if you decide to hit me on that, hit me with the ten dollars. Please leave me an email address so I can email it to you. And after you read it, please let me know what your feedback is because I'm very curious to know what you think about it. Okay? And this is not going to be a long one. Uh, but. I was just sent a very disturbing video uh, by my girl here on uh, in real life and then on here on social media. Shout out, been doing it for like 25 years. Her name is Mary, Mary Max. Thank you for the video, Mary Max. Um, who's this? Kareem, what's up, bro? Um, she, uh, uh <clears throat> no, Mary Max, y'all look her up. It's M-A-E-R-E-E-M-A-X. Mary Max. She sent me this video. This is me a lot of cool stuff. But this right here, I guess it stuck out extra to me because of the situation we just had with Jordan Neely. You know, with the little punk-ass Marine boy. Gonna sneak up behind him and choke him till he dies. And then little punk-ass uh, DA, Alvin Braggs in New York, gonna give him a light sentence knowing he's trying to get him off What's called a what manslaughter, second man, second degree manslaughter? Tried to probably give him probation, and then also the little punk ass dude has got three up to two to three million dollars in a GoFundMe. If y'all don't think that's an organized hit on a black male, letting the citizens make money off the shit. Oh, so but anyway, uh, so this is a this is a video. I don't know where it was. I should need to ask her exactly what city this was in. But this is a video of a security guard, a black guy security guard, you know, in his tactical uniform with his gun and his boots and all of that, right? His hat on. And there's a, a much smaller black dude attempted to walk out of the, I don't know if it's the Walmart or whatever it was. He attempted to walk out. And, and, and of course, there's no, there's no volume. It's on D.L. Hughley's. It comes from D.L. Hughley's Instagram page, I think. And, uh... They get into the scuffle, and the first thing the black security guard does is put that same chokehold on his brother. Now, by the way, let me start by saying this. I'm not condoning stealing. I don't, if that's the case, I'm not condoning any of that. But what I'm not going to do is sit here and act like the, the murder of young of black men is not intentional under the guise of he was uh, screaming and yelling, making people feel uncomfortable, so you get to choke him out, huh, punk? And so, even if he was stealing and you got your hands on him, you know, what's all that other shit about, right? And then there are laws for that. If they're running out the store, you're not supposed to chase them. That's what the laws. But somehow when it comes to black men, we, we don't know any laws. I mean, they really have laws. I saw one with some dude was running out the store and the store, one of the guys who the customers ran out to do, shot him in the back. And then he gonna try to tell the, the authorities, I was afraid for my life chasing somebody with a gun so they're pulling all kinds of tricks when it comes to black males and that's why i'm saying black men stop hating on black men y'all hear me always talking about black men we need to form a protective barrier around us economically educationally and politically and socially we need to learn we need to we gonna have to protect ourselves they, they, <laughs> but we won't so and i say we won't because of this one well, this example of many Many examples probably out there. This dude, and now I mind you, this is a bigger security guard. And the other guy's a little short dude with little, little loose jogging pants. He had a bag full of stuff. I don't know if it's his stuff or it was stuff he had shoplifted. So they get into the tussle. He get the smaller guy down, put the chokehold on him, and you see the guy's legs kicking. Like he just giving up and just kicking. I said, oh shit, he's about to choke him out and kill him too. 
So somehow the little dude broke away from his chokehold and he got up. You know, security guy stood back, he stood back and, and then the little guy went over and grabbed his bag. You know, like, fuck you. You know, he, you know, he did that. And so as he was walking out, the security guy walking towards him, uh, the guy grabbed his bag and he did this gesture. Like, bitch, and he did that. Now in his hand, I think he had his phone. Okay, he picked his phone up off the ground and he grabbed his bag and he had his bag in his hand full of items and he had the phone in his hand. He said like, bitch, and you know, like, yeah, boy, I got away from your punk ass. That's pretty much what the gesture was. How come the guy, the security guard, let me go this way. How come the security guard unholsters his gun and shoots the man in the chest? Again, the man that walked outside, matter of fact, the dude that walked out the door of the store. He did this like, bitch, that nigga, he's backing up. And the guy, as he was backing up, the security guard grabs his gun and shoots the man. And the man falls backwards, flailing his arms and his legs, laying there dying. And people just walk past as if it was nothing, like it's nothing to see here, just another Negro shot. And, and that right there should motivate us to like, damn, they really don't think we're human beings. People really don't give a fuck about black males. And so that's what caused me to have this title that said, black men, stop hating other black men. Because John, Dr. John Henry Clark said this about the entire race. But I'm going to remix and readjust that statement. Black men, we have no friends. And you would think that we will try to be friends with each other. But we got more division and more tribalism among black men. And, then, and we have to re recognize this reality. That a lot of black men look at other black males, especially younger, older black men, looking at younger black men, and look at them through the lenses of the white racist. Black females do it all the time. If they can't get their way with a black male, they're public enemy number one. They can't get them to spend no money. They can't get them to lift, push, pull, drag anything for them. Or get them, they can't get them to use them to be a do boy. Oh yeah, he ain't shit. And so we got these black men right here looking at other black males with that same kind of racial, racist disdain. And that's all that was. When he shot that shot a dude, you were, you were twice his size. All he did was like, yeah, bitch, y'all seen that before. And I didn't want to use that N-word, but that's the gesture he gave. Yeah, boy. And this man takes his gun out and shoots the man. And come to find out, I think they, they, they failed to press charges against the, the security guard you know and so we're taking our cues from the dominant society we've taken our cues from the dominant society on how to treat black men black men and again i'm not i'm not condoning him the young the smaller guy if he was stealing out the store or whatever but if the guy got away from you, don't let your ego cause you to pull a gun out. You acting just like that white boy now. Why you acting like that white cop now when the when the so-called robber or criminal that's black gets the best of him, now you want to get your gun out and shoot him up. But you was going toe to toe with him at first and he beat you. Now you want to get your gun, and but you motherfuckers want to talk about we got a gun problem. No, you want everybody else to be unarmed and the police just have guns? No. The criminals just have guns? No. You know, it's just, it's just messed up. The, the pe people who are licensed to carry and they're supposed to be law enforcement, you are held to a higher standard. You don't act like the dude in the club that got his ass whooped and then you go to your car and get your pistol and start shooting up everybody because you got your ass whooped. And that's what that was. The little dude outstruggled him, outdid it, and, he, and his ego got the best of him. But yet, because it's a black male, they didn't see any needs, uh, reportedly, the report I read, any need to press any charge. There was, there was direct first-degree murder. Why aren't black men getting more first-degree murders when, when there's obviously directly first-degree murder? And that's what I'm saying, black men. Y'all right here, again, when I ended on my other video, I can't get y'all to close y'all mouth about no goddamn sports. You see stuff like this, you move on. You won't shut the fuck up about John Morant. You act like those of you who try and defend him. Anything, anything LeBron say, you just salivate at the mouth. 
any dunk that John Morant makes, any dunk that anybody, any basketball player makes, you screaming and hollering like bitches. Whoa, yeah, man. But black males get shot in cold blood. Y'all ain't got nothing to say, and I'm sick of it. What kind of dudes are y'all? What kind of dudes are y'all? What kind of dudes are y'all? I'm just saying, black and black American men, what kind of dudes are y'all? Cause y'all are literally sitting around and let everybody get their shot on black men. Hell, even, it, it's so bad. Like this security guard officer, he done got him one. We stood around and watched gang members murder each other back and forth for decades. Now we just letting regular ordinary citizens pick them off a of black dude. What, what, what's going on? Oh, y'all need Farrakhan at 90 years old to gather you dumb, you slow, cowardly motherfuckers up now? No, he's 90. He should have been at home at see, 20 years ago. Who y'all need to be inspired by? Who do we need to be inspired by? Again, I'm not famous. I don't have any money, so you're not going to listen to me. But it's somebody you listen to. So I guess you got to throw a football or dribble a basketball in order for you to listen to. A lot of y'all still up in these churches. How come you preachers? The preachers ain't even talking about, look, brothers, we need to get together to form a political wall around us, educational wall, economic wall, a protective wall. Because like I said, even black women have been become successful at building a protective wall around them. You can't say nothing about sisters. You, you get attacked just like you said something about Jews or homosexuals. But black men, you can den- you can disrespect, you can denigrate, you can murder, and don't nobody give a shit, not including black men. That has to stop. Now, I know this ain't going to go viral. This see the only video. Now, if I'm talking about how no black rap women ain't shit, they bald head, they fat. If I'm talking about that, all of a sudden this video get all kinds of views. But them very dudes who need to be concentrating on saving the lives of other black men. That's how sick our society has gotten. You go viral <laughs> when you when you... Well, anyway, when you're doing a bunch of foolishness. Again, we're very tribal in the black, in, in black, in the black community. We're very tribal with mom black men. You see other groups work together, even if they don't like each other socially, politically, you know, belief wise, they still work together. That's who we got. But we don't know how to do that. And that's a problem. It doesn't make any damn sense. We're like, what, 8%, 6 to 8% of population. You think we got bodies to spare like that? We already got to duck and do our thing around with the dominant society. And then immigrants get a chance to get them one. But we got to worry about each other too. Who the fuck does that? Where they do that at? Oh, yeah, in America. It's just stupid. So, yeah, that son of a bitch should have been charged just like the white boy. Yeah, at least the white boy got one. So obvious but it, it but it goes down to the value that we have of black males we don't have any value and it's crazy and we don't even value ourselves that anybody say anything we don't we, we, we let anybody do anything and say anything about us and it's disgusting you know homeless black man homeless other man guess who we're gonna get help first but y'all know I'm not preaching to the choir. I think I'm preaching to the choir here. This probably was a wasted video, but I'm gonna keep saying it anyway, cause I don't know no better. I guess I'm slow in that regard. But that, that video really upset me because of the, the, the huge meaning behind it. It's bigger than what, what was the, the image of it all, the, the meaning behind it. And then the so-called system like, no, allegedly, not uh, pressing any charges against the brother, the black dude who, who murdered him. I don't know if he looked like he died there, but it's disgusting. You gonna pull your gun out because he got the best of you, punk? You thought you had me, you little punk ass choco? It didn't work. Dude got up, grabbed his bag, grabbed his phone, and yeah, bitch. And all of a sudden, you pull your gun out and shoot the dude? Oh no. And finally, the reason everybody acts such a fool with black men because there are no ramp, there are no consequences. There are no economic, there are no political, there are no social consequences. Mother can say any group and can say anything, do anything to black boys and black men. <laughs> and there are no consequences. We're going to have to talk more about this.
Because uh, while y'all around here, come, every, every season never fails. The only time America and even black America gives a shit about black boys is when it's basketball season or football season. That's the only time they give a shit. And our black boys, are, they are not people's utilities. They are not your sexual objects. They are not your lift, push, pull, drag, mules, and donkeys. They're not here just for your personal enslavement. These are human beings that have to be nurtured and developed and to be the next leaders of our community. But we don't have community anymore. We have groups who try to do them, individuals who try to do them. But I'm talking about talking to and about black men because the shit is stupid. We shouldn't expect black women to be doing shit for us. We don't want supposed to be protective providers, remember? I know a lot of you do it with your woman and your daughters. But who the fuck your daughter gonna marry if y'all ain't protecting the next men that can grow up to be their husbands? This shit is stupid. And I, first thing, you, as soon as you mention Trump, you got 50 Negroes. Ah, oh, man, I don't fuck with Trump. I don't fuck Trump. And by me saying Trump, a lot of you niggas have been triggered. Stupid. And why got random black dudes just being shot down, choked out. And there's no, There's no outrage across the country about this shit. I swear. Whew. If I got a passport to lead this motherfucker, it won't be because just trying to find better women in a different culture. I don't want to mess on these old hard and weak ass American men. A weak ass American black man. Because every other group takes care of their culture. And the men in their group, they look out for each other. But black men don't. And, it's, and it's dangerous and it's stupid. But I digress. My client is on his way. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, he's probably should be pulling up any minute. But y'all be cool. It's your man Rico. Rico the opinion. This like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you. A hell of time. And then check out that description box. You know, my, my, my PDF is there. You know. The greatest pain ever felt conversation with absent biological father. Who never wanted to be found. It's only ten dollars. Dollar sign Rico the opinion. Please send me an email address because it's in PDF format. And so I can email it to you right away y'all enjoy the rest of your evening i'm gonna go ahead and wipe the sweat off of my clients see me all glistening and, and sweating this shit y'all be cool i'll talk to y'all later all right peace <laughs>